Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to either be a complete success or an epic fail. So I had a subscriber message me or comment about if I knew anything about LV designer trays. And I did it. So it got me thinking that um, I can maybe possibly do it. So today we are going to go step by step and see how it turns out. So this was yesterday morning that I received the comment. So I went on to Amazon and I found, and I just got this in, these little trays. And then I got the little domes that came with it. I also ordered the diamond glaze glue that everyone's saying you need to have. I've watched a couple of tutorials <laughs> and I was having my coffee first thing this morning. It's early, I, get to, I mean, I just like, I'm not even ready for the day, but I have so much going on today that I thought, you know, if this gets here early enough, I will do a video. So it just got here. So I'm gonna do a video on how to make a LV uh, designer tray. So. Uh, charm, a charm tray, sorry, a charm tray. So um, if you saw in the picture of the thumbnail that I have, I have a couple of LV bags that I even tested out before. It was a complete fail. So they just sit there and I'm not selling them. Or I have one that is a faux Louis Vuitton because I was using that. If you saw one of my videos, I was using it for acrylic leather paint to just try it before I put it on my, my real Louis Vuitton. So I have that. And then, like I said, I have, like here's my Louis Vuitton here. Now this one has been sitting in my closet and I'll tell you why. I haven't used it, I, haven't, I wasn't trying to sell it, is because, well one, I don't have, it's missing a strap. I could put a strap right here. And it does have the zipper, but, I don't know, because I thought this would be kind of cool to keep it as a little pouch if I need it in the future for anything. I just, if I wanted to put a strap in, but it's been sitting. It's been sitting probably for like six months. So I thought I could either tear this apart. I know it sounds crazy, but I, this is not an exacto knife, but it's a for to cut the you know material. Cut this and then use the canvas to put in, put in the dome. So that's number one option. The second option is my other handbag that I did an epic fail. I didn't even do the video because it was so bad <laughs> and I regretted it. And so I just tossed the bag to the side and then I just deleted the, the footage. But as you can see here, I try to do the fringe, but it, look how, it's just horrible. You can see all the little holes in there. I just didn't like it. One, I would never sell this because of the quality of this thing. There's option two. Option three would be what I've been using for already. Um, if you saw my other video on acrylic painting or leather painting and how do you, this is the fake Louis Vuitton. And this is, I was just testing it out by using my acrylic paint pens. Actually I have it upside down because you're supposed to have it upside down, but the acrylic paint pens. And I used it on here and just to test it out, I tried different things. I used stencil. You know, I like to be creative. I didn't say I was talented. I just like to be creative though. So I did these things. If you wanna go, if you haven't seen this video, it, go to my channel, you will see what I did with this one. Either I can start cutting this and using this to try out on those dome trays, or I can use the real McCoy. I was looking at the domes to put, you know, where the LV is, okay? and you can barely see it. So I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna show you how to cut it because the subscriber said hers was a complete fail. So after looking at a couple tutorials, I can I figured a way, at least by visually, 
um, an easier way to make it not be a complete fail, but like I said, it was just visually, I saw a tutorial. Now me trying it may be a whole different thing. I'm also gonna do another one with my paint brushes or my paint pens and outline another one. That way it highlights it. So this would be your dome tray, your charm tray will be, oops, will be authentic, right? Because you're using a real Louis Vuitton, but in order for it to stand out, you may want to use a paint pen to do that. So I'm going to try both ways. Not to say that any of them are going to come out right. I may just do this one. Uh, I may do this one, but I'm, like I said, I would never take this out because I would never like wear it anyway. So, or I can take this part here and cut this and use this for my designer charm trays, right? She asked me if I knew anything about this and I didn't. And so challenge accepted. So now here we go. We are gonna get started. The next thing you see is my decision on which one <laughs> I'm going to use. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I chose which one I was going to cut up and it was this one because the decision was <laughs> I can still keep this one and utilize it, right? But this one, I still can utilize it. All I did was cut the, the back, um, the back pouch. So you can still keep that. And from the front, you'll never know that that's missing. And so we're going to use, take this off too. So we're going to use this and we're going to make two of them. One, I told you I'm going to use the paint pens and the other one, I'm going to just go and put it right on there. And so we're going to do right now how to put this together. Very easy. I got what I needed. I have my LV scrap here. And so now we're going to make two and see how they turn out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm cutting, I'm cutting the top here just so I have easier to maneuver. We're gonna put it right on there. You can see that, I don't know if you can, but we're gonna put it right on the LV. Now it says, there we go, let's put this a little lower. Okay, now it says to, see I already cut one of the glues here, which one was it? I cut the top. Now it says to only put just a little bit right in the middle. It doesn't wanna come out. And cut it. Let's see, let's cut it again. A little bigger. Okay, let's see. I don't want to put too much. That. So just a dab. Just a dab in the middle. And then you want to put this right on top and then squish it around so you get the air bubbles out. That was like, I guess, a big thing to get all the air bubbles out and then center it. I have to turn around, we'll get it. Okay, too many air bubbles. So I just have to keep swishing around. Get the LV in there, make it straight. Let this dry and we'll come back to it. Okay, so I use these two because I didn't know which one would be better. Here's this one, because it's pretty bright, this one is a little bit more, um, not bright, so bright. And I didn't know how it would look on the dome here. So I just did the two of these two colors. I'm waiting for it to dry and I'm waiting for this to dry. And then I'm gonna put the dome on these two and then I'm going, we're gonna move forward. I'm gonna cut them up and, and we'll go to the next step. Okay. Okay, so now it's dry. So now we're gonna put this right in the middle here. And we're gonna put this 
right over it and squish it through and hope it doesn't change my paint here. And then we're gonna move on to this one. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so now I'm not gonna touch these two. I think they're still drying, but I'm, I can cut this one. So what I saw is you just cut cut it and um, I think what some people were doing is they were, um, I think it still may need, I don't know. It's glue, it says it works, but I don't know for how long it takes for you to leave it there and dry 100%, but we are cutting it. Put that to the side. Let's see, let me make sure. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut around it. Okay, so now, so I use this type. So I bought this little kit. I think it was like less than $20 um, on Amazon and it came with this and it has a couple of um, more in here if you want to re, you know, refill them. And this cuts perfectly, you just gotta be careful. But I first used the scissors and cut as much as I could. Then I used the X-Acto knife and I went all the way around this is just a little cutting board that I have. Okay, so it has a little bit of stuff kind of fraying here, but I think once it goes in the tray itself, you won't see any of that. So I don't really want to spend too much time on that. But you can if you want. Okay, so now they said the next thing you do is you then put the same amount of glue right in the middle. That's probably too much. That is way too much from, from the tutorials. You wanna center it in the middle. And then you wanna put it on here. And you wanna move it around. I'm already getting all sticky here. And then you want to make sure it's centered. And press down and hold on to it. I don't like the design I got. There were so many choices and I wanted to get the size that would fit the LV on the handbag I had. So some of them are charms, so they're smaller. I didn't want little small ones. I wanted it to make it where I can, I can actually use this as a necklace. If you can see here, that's what I, and I'll put the, the dimensions below of what this is. And I'll even send you the link if you're interested in like something this size. But here we are. It's still drying. I don't want to put all the way up, but so that's that's the that's the one that is without using a paint pin. Now I'm going to cut the other one and we'll see the difference and see which one looks better, okay?
So here we go. Here's this one. You can see the canvas kind of with the glue. I mean, it, it looks good, really cute. And then this one, we're gonna put the glue on. Not as much. That's what they say, not as much. I don't know, this, and some air bubbles there too. Maybe you can do this to take the air bubbles out. Okay, then you put it in the middle and you squish it around so it gets all over underneath. Then you start centering it. And then I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold this one to get it, you know, to make sure it stays. And then I am going to work on the last one here and see which one is better. This would be my worst. <laughs> this was the yellow one. I mean, look how, I mean, I didn't, I didn't do a really good job on the outlining it, but it does pop. You can see the yellow pops. So I'm definitely still gonna keep it. It's cute. Let's see. Then my second favorite is this one, which was the natural Louis Vuitton from the canvas without coloring it. I do like that and you can still see it here and it's natural. So if you like that instead, you can do that. But then my favorite would be this one. So this one here looks better like this, too close, um, is, was this. So this one, is a gold. This one's just gold in the metallic color, metallic gold. So I use this one, I like this one. Now I bought this cute little pom-pom. I bought a couple of them, as you can see here, like a long time ago, and they've just been sitting. They're so cute. I got them for a couple dollars, maybe even a dollar, um, cause I bought in like, you know, uh, multiples. I forgot where I got it because it's been so long, but I can see if I can look it up and maybe put a link below, but I can't guarantee that. But I got these for so cheap. I mean, they were like a dollar, dollar fifty. So cute because I was going to put them on my, my bags. So this would, been per this would be perfect. So this one here, you can put on your bag and look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? I mean, I'm not going to use this bag, but I'll use it as an example. Look how cute that is. How adorable. So they have different pom-poms and then you can actually now have your, your true authentic Louis Vuitton canvas in your, in your charm tray. <laughs> So I hope this helped everybody. It's it's not that hard to do. Um, I'm gonna probably put these on some of my other bags and hang them, or I can use it as a necklace. Some people, this is actually this is actually for a necklace, and um, can use it as a necklace as well if you want to. But or you can use it for the pom pom here. And hang it on your purse okay so i hope this helped and um once again i'll put the description or a link in the description if you like this please hit the like button i noticed that you know my analytics tells me you know 50 percent of the subscribers are watching and then 50 percent of non-subscribers and i would love to get that other 50 percent to um subscribe to my 
my video. I do things like this. If you know, you comment below, let me know if you want me to try something out. I will. And um, just like this, challenge accepted, right? And, um, and then of course, I, I also buy and sell handbags, but I also like to be creative. And I just think this is so adorable. You hang in there like this and it gives you something to do. Like I said, it's early in the morning and I did get it in from Amazon next day. And look at this, everybody did three of them. Like I said, I could hang one as a necklace and then or your handbag. So I appreciate it and I look forward to the next video. Comment below, let me know what you guys thought. And if you guys have any other, you know, other things that you maybe you try that was a complete fa a fail or, or a success, but you want to see me do it or try it, please comment below. Let me know. I'm kind of excited about that. I, I am, I like to create things too. So, um, you guys have a wonderful 4th of July weekend and I will see you in the next video.